I want to share a very powerful first of you today, my friend. It's one that has brought me comfort and strength in some of my toughest moments. It's from Deuteronomy uh, 31.6 and it goes like this. Be strong and courageous. Do not fear or be in dread of them, for it is the Lord your God who goes with you. He will not leave you or forsake you. Let's take a moment to really let those words sink in. This verse is more than just advice. It's a promise. And I want to explore what it really means for you and me today. In our busy and very much chaotic lives. Let's dive into this first deeper. Be strong and courageous. These are more than just words. They are a call uh, to rise above fear. You see, life often throws challenges our way that leaves us feeling weak, uh, uncertain, or scared. It's really easy to let these fears dictate our actions, our decisions, and even maybe our relationships. But this first reminds us that strength and courage aren't about being fearless. They're about trusting that God is with us even when fear tries to take over. It's okay to feel afraid at times. You're human and fear is a natural reaction, but courage, you know, courage is choosing to move forward even when fear is whispering in our ears. And strength, you know, strength is knowing that you're never alone in this fight because God himself is standing right beside you. Think about the times in your life where you've needed strength, you know, when you had to dig deep to keep going, you know, in those moments, God was already there, giving you the courage to press on, even when you did not even realize it. Do not fear or be in dread for them. Them maybe for you them is a difficult situation you know at work a broken relationship financial struggles or even your inner doubts we all face these thems in life those overwhelming challenges that make us want to run the other way but the bible tells us not to fear them why because god is so much bigger than everything you're facing right now let's be real for a moment the world can be in a very tough place you know we're constantly bombarded with and things that try to shake our faith, make us feel anxious, or steal our peace away. But here's the thing, fear shrinks your vision. It makes the problem look huge and makes you feel very small. It exaggerates the challenge and downplays your ability to overcome it. But God is telling you, don't let fear block your path. Don't let dread keep you from you moving forward. He's bigger than the mountain in front of you and he's already prepared the way. You just need to trust that he is with you. Now this part hits me the hardest, uh, for it is Lord your God uh, who goes with you. Think about that for a moment. You know, you're not walking through life alone. Whatever you're going through, God is also walking right beside you step by step. Whether you're facing a tough decision, a health crisis, or just a daily struggle of life, you are simply not on your own. God isn't just, you know, watching you from a distance. He's literally with you. You know, you're not out there, you know, navigating life solo, you know, hoping for the best. No, he's right there beside you, guiding you, holding you, and making sure you don't just walk this journey alone. That changes everything, doesn't it, right? You know, when you know that God is with you, it gives you the confidence to face whatever challenges comes your way. You don't have to be afraid of the unknown because the one who knows all things is walking right beside you. Finally, he will not leave you or forsake you. This is a promise and not just any promise. It's an eternal one. God's not going anywhere. People might leave, situations may change, and the world can feel unpredictable. But God's presence in your life is constant. He won't abandon you when things get tough. He won't turn his back on you when you feel you know, weak or lost. He is faithful and his love for you is unwavering no matter what your past looks like no matter what mistakes you've made or how many times you've fallen god is still with you he's not waiting for you to be perfect 
you know he's you know walking with you and your imperfection offering you his strength his courage and his grace you know it's easy to feel uh like our past disqualifies us from god's you know love or his help but the truth is nothing can separate you from his love he's been with you in the good times and the bad times and he's not you know about to leave now so if you're feeling overwhelmed right now if fear is trying to take a hold of your heart i want you to remember this first deuteronomy 31 6 isn't just words on a page it's god's promise to you you don't have to be afraid because you're not walking this path alone you don't have to carry the weight of the world on your shoulders because god is carrying it with you Whenever you're in doubt, whenever you're tempted to give in to fear, come back to this truth. Be strong and be courageous. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you or forsake you. And that is the greatest source of strength you can have. Take a moment right now and just breathe and remind yourself that God is with you in this very moment. You've got this. Not because you're perfect, but because God is perfectly by your side. Thank you so much and God bless you for taking a few moments out of your day to check out this video. I love to hear, you know, this first has impacted your life or what challenges you're facing right now. Let's continue the conversation in the comment section below. If you want more videos like this and, you know, dive into, you know, the scripture and find encouragement together, don't forget to like and subscribe. Remember, you're not alone in this journey and that's because God is here with you in this moment every step of the way also feel free to use the comment sections for any future topics you would love me to talk about i love to listen read and reply to every comments on these videos i'm adam representing team sos in case i don't see you on the next one make sure you have yourself a good morning afternoon evening and most importantly good night love you all stay safe be safe i'm signing out and i'll see you on the next one peace